TSMC inaugurated its new R&D center in Xinju Friday, signaling its intentions to continue to operate in Taiwan. The ceremony was attended by TSMC founder Morris Chang, who was joined by Premier Chen Jianren and company executives. The R&D center has a total floor area of 300,000 square meters and is expected to be a workplace for more than 7,000 R&D specialists. The center will focus on advanced processes, including 1 and 2 nanometer chip manufacturing and quantum computing. TSMC founder Morris Chang, Premier Chen Jianren, Economics Minister Wang Meihua and other officials stand together at the opening ceremony for TSMC's new R&D center. The big building behind me is TSMC's R&D center with 10 floors above ground and seven underground levels. The center has been dubbed the Taiwanese version of the Nokia Bell Labs. The complex has a total floor area of about 42 soccer pitches. Construction started three years ago. About 7,000 R&D specialists will work here, focusing on 1 and 2 nanometer chip manufacturing processes, wide band gap semiconductors and quantum computing. Over the past five years at least, or perhaps even longer, 10 years, TSMC's R&D teams and executive team have made huge contributions to the company, the global semiconductor industry and even the global economy. Of course, it is thanks to your big contributions that TSMC has become a key strategic asset. We're working hard to do what we're supposed to do, but we've also heard some people voicing concerns. They wonder whether TSMC's focus is shifting away from Taiwan. The opening of this global R&D centre is a way of telling the people of Taiwan that we are set on staying in Taiwan. TSMC invests about 8% of its annual revenue in R&D. This year, it invested about 20% more funds into R&D than the year before, about 200 billion NT. Article 10, paragraph 2 of the Statute for Industrial Innovation has been reviewed and passed. There is also consensus on the implementation of the details of related regulations, which will be released in August. This investment offset mechanism creates greater investment incentives in the industry. The inauguration ceremony was held as scheduled despite the inclement weather brought about by the typhoon. Representatives from academia, industry and government attended the ceremony to witness an important step for Taiwan's leading chipmaker.